Egg today, but of course this video uh, forecast is mainly going to focus on the uh, very intense storm that's on the way uh, Sunday night and into Monday. Could be the worst storm for many years actually across uh, parts of England and Wales. Wouldn't necessarily put it on a par with 1987, I think that's a bit uh, over top probably, but certainly maybe uh, October 2000, there was a big storm on the 30th of October uh, 2000. It's probably going to be on a par with that, uh, giving some very disruptive uh, weather uh, through the course of a sunny night and into Monday. Before I get on with that, just want to talk about the advertising. There's a video ad to my page at gaswellbiz.com. If you play a video ad, uh, you'll be supporting gaswellbiz.com. Thanks very much for doing that. The, uh, website, uh, the websites that we're using for the video got radar picture from the UK Met Office and the charts from uh, wetcent.de and weatherout.com. All three of those websites can be found on my uh, links page or the links to them. So starting off with the radar pitch first of all, we've got some dribs and drabs of light rain across England and Wales. One two heavy bursts along the south coast, but generally it's quite light and patchy. Very vibrant area of heavy rain though coming into Ireland. That's an active cold front. That's going to be sweeping eastwards across the country through the course of today. This is day Soptic press chart. This big area of low pressure is driving weather in the uh, mid-Atlantic. Also, we've got a cold front sweeping in across the country uh, from the west. So we're going to find heavy rain moving from Ireland and onto the western side of the UK during the course of this afternoon. Central and eastern areas are quite cloudy, but there will be some bright or sunny breaks coming through. It's really warm uh, in that sunshine if it comes through in the southeast because the temperature is up to 18 or 19 degrees this afternoon. 19 degrees is 66 Fahrenheit. It's more like the sort of uh, temperature you, know, you expect at the end of August uh, rather than the end of October. So a very warm, uh, humid afternoon in the east. But to the west, where we've got that cold front, temperatures do drop quite significantly. Um, um, behind that cold front. As we go through tonight, the car front will sweep across the whole of the country, uh, so we're all going to get a spell of quite heavy and blustery rain through the course of this evening and overnight. That'll clear away into the North Sea by the end of the night, feeding in uh, lots of showers behind it. Tight packed ice bar, so the wind's going to get up through the course of the uh, night. It's going, to, uh, it's going to be reaching gale force around some western parts of the country by the end of the night. This isn't the storm, though. The storm is actually still developing out in the central part of the Atlantic uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. But this is uh, the main area of low pressure, uh, bringing the cold front and a strong blow across the country. Temperatures will be dropping through the course of night, so feeling a lot cooler and fresher uh, by the end of night, with minimums down to around 3 to 8 degrees. Uh, Sunday looks like being a showery day with this area of low pressure to the north of Scotland. Dry weather, there's the storm system uh, developing out in the Atlantic. That'll be with us later on on Sunday night. But Sunday itself is going to be a day of sunshine and showers. Notice it's tight packed ice bar, so it'll be a windy day. Uh, gales, uh, certainly gusts up to gale force in some uh, western and northern parts of the country. But we're all going to have a strong wind, and that wind will be feeding in heavy showers through the course of the day. It's going to be feeling much cooler tomorrow uh, with temperatures in the north north just 8 degrees and in the south uh, just 14 degrees. 14 is 57 Fahrenheit. Much much cooler and fresher feel. Well here we go. We move through into Sunday night, Monday morning and there's the storm system winding up uh, down to the southwest of the country moving into Wales and southwestern England at 6 o'clock in the morning on, uh, on Monday morning. Very, <coughs> excuse me, very very tightly packed ice bars around that area of low pressure. So have gale force winds up to severe gale force Force or storm force winds blowing through the channel and around southwestern parts of England by the end of Sunday night into the early hours of Monday morning. There'll be lots of heavy rain, torrential rain coming with that. Look at all of those uh, rainfall colours there across England and Wales. Uh, the purple colours indicating some really uh, torrential rain in places with a risk, no doubt, of flooding. Temperatures will be academic on uh, Sunday night. Uh, no problems, but it'll be feeling cold as that wind uh, picks up. Although quite humid air actually down in the far south and southeast. There's the low pressure at midday on Sunday, on Monday. It's sitting just off the coast of North East England. Very, very tight packed ice bar on the southern side. So we're going to see gale or severe gale force winds for many parts of England and Wales on Monday. Particularly focused through Wales and southwestern England and around the Channel uh, through the uh, first part of the morning. And then transferring through the Midlands in towards East Anglia, southeastern and southern England uh, through the latter part 
start of Monday morning. This is coinciding with the rush hour and then through the morning on Monday. So there'll be lots of people around, of course. If you get stormy winds in the day, it's always worse for disruption than if you get it at night. So do take care if you're off travelling about Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, Add some time to your journey and keep in touch with the severe weather warnings uh, from the UK Met Office. If you're interested in the severe weather warnings, that's the place to go. I don't issue severe weather warnings because I'm not qualified to do that. Uh, go to the UK Met Office website. They uh, issue all the severe weather warnings if you need to know what's going to be happening in terms of these winds on Monday morning. Um, the heavy rain moves up in towards northern England through the course of Monday morning and it will grind to a halt over northern England for quite a few hours. So expect the risk of flooding across northern England but at least there you don't get the winds whereas further south although the rain will clear through uh, then you get that blow of very intense and strong winds through the course of Monday morning. Temperatures are going to be warm in the southeast to start off with maybe up to 15 or 16 degrees first thing in the morning but they'll drop through the course of the day as that low pressure moves into the north sea by 6 o'clock in the evening. The winds are going round to west and the northwest becoming much cooler and fresher uh, with that west to northwesterly wind uh, bringing that cooler air down. Still windy up to gale force around western and southwestern coasts in particular but I think the worst of the stormy winds will be uh, before midday and then things should slowly start to calm down through the course of Monday afternoon. Now this is still a little way off so there is uh, the potential for some changes uh, to this general idea. Um, I'll be doing the update probably in blog form uh, tonight and then uh, tomorrow I'll do a video probably tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening just focusing on uh, the storm. Now as we move through to Tuesday everything is calming down, the low pressure has gone off up Scandinavia and then we're building in a little ridge of high pressure, transient ridge from the Atlantic but it's a cooler, uh, showery sort of day on Tuesday, sunshine and showers, most showers in the north and west, probably not too many in the south and the southeast. Temperatures will be on the cool side though, this uh, storm is held in much cooler and fresher air so we're down perhaps a little bit below average to be honest uh, on Tuesday, maybe just 6 degrees in the north to around 11 or 12 in the south, uh, certainly feeling a lot cooler. Now we build that ridge of high pressure across the south and the southeast on Wednesday, so I think much of England and Wales has a dry and fine day with some sunny spells, but more cloud, wind and rain would arrive to Scotland and Northern Ireland through the course of the day. Temperatures between around 7 and 14. Uh, Thursday we're going to find a cold front coming southwards across the country, quite a weak feature, um, um, but it'll bring some cloud and rain into England and Wales with sunshine and showers following to Scotland and Northern Ireland. Temperatures again probably between around 7 and 14 degrees. As we move through into Friday, another active area of low pressure will start to moving off, move in off the Atlantic. So there's no end to this uh, unsettled phase of weather. More cloud and heavy rain will sweep in across the country, I think, on Friday. Um, and that by then, the rain totals will be clocking up, so the risk of flooding in places. Quite strong winds getting up again on Friday as well. And then look what happens as we go into Saturday. Another very intense area of low pressure is developing there. That's more severe gales uh, coming in across the island, England and Wales in particular, with more uh, trench rain. That's a long way off, but uh, there is the potential there uh, for yet more severe gales and torrential rain uh, next weekend. Finally, have a look at the charts from the weatheroutlook.com. We're going to have some sunshine in the south and east this afternoon but there will be cloud, uh, wind and rain moving in from west on that active cold front. That will be spreading across the country through the course of the evening. As we go into uh, Sunday, we've basically got a sunshine and shower scenario. It's going to be a windy day and a much cooler, fresher feeling day as well. Many of the showers in the west, but some will transfer through into the east on that strong wind. And um, there on Sunday night into Monday morning, there comes a the heavy and torrential rain across England and Wales with those very stormy winds uh, driving it all on. Uh, through the early hours of Monday and into Monday morning. Uh, the worst of the winds will be for England and Wales, particularly in the south, on Monday morning. Do take care if you're travelling about on Monday morning. It's going to be some very nasty weather indeed. Generally very wet and showery to the north. Um, more showery uh, conditions uh, further south, but a very nasty day uh, on Monday. Uh, Tuesday things do calm down. It turns a lot cooler and fresher, but we'll have showers in the west. Probably not too many in the south and east but maybe about Tuesday is that the winds will be a lot lighter uh, thankfully and it will be feeling 
uh, much, much cooler. As we move through into Wednesday, well, it's mainly dry in the south, but we're going to bring more cloud rain uh, to Scotland and Northern Ireland. And then for Thursday, that band of cloud and rain moves south across England and Wales. And then for Friday, heavy rain returns across many parts of the country during the course of the day. And that could set us up for another intense storm uh, to move in across the country on on Saturday and through next weekend. So a really unsettled phase of weather going on. Uh, we're properly under the cosh now uh, with the Atlantic throwing active areas of road pressure across the country. All the focus at the moment is on the storm through Sunday night and into Monday. Very disruptive weather is certainly possible. Gusts of wind in excess of 70 or 80 miles an hour across many southern and southwestern parts of the country. Do take care. I'll be updating this tonight on my blog and I'll be doing a video, uh, a final video uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. But some very disruptive weather coming up. In summary, it's very unsettled uh, with heavy rain, severe gales and uh, showery conditions uh, in between. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.